It's just past 11 on a Thursday evening, and I'm reflecting on a very wonderful day I had at the studio with Chikako, who was giving me wonderful help in learning about the kimono. Today we tried two kimonos, one deep blue with black roses, and this is the second one. It's an off-white kimono, pure silk, and the inspiration for the colour of this kimono came from seeing a photo of the legendary kabuki actor Tamasubura Banda V in the play Sage Muzume, The Heron Maiden. Now this play is one of the oldest in the kabuki repertoire, and it's set in the winter, and the dancer wears a pure white kimono with a black obi belt. And the play is a series of transformations, actually. And the dancer goes from one colour kimono into another, from white into a scarlet red. And it's so dazzling, so ethereal, so poetic visually and musically. And that was the inspiration for this kimono. This is off-white, as I said. So not quite the brilliant white that would be in Sage Muzume, the Heron Maiden. But still, we tried to come close to that and as you can see we're pairing it with a red obiage. Obiage is a cloth typically also of silk that tucks into the top of the obi belt and it just gives a pop of colour and it's interesting how much of a difference the colour of the obiage this cloth makes to the overall visual effect of the kimono. I, I really like how the red just gives a vibrancy and a strength to what is otherwise a very elegant and simple kimono in terms of its colours with the black and white. And the other element to mention here is the obijime, which is being tied around the obi belt. Um, we went for the white after much deliberation, um, just not to, to go too crazy with the colours and kind of, yeah, just keep that elegance and simplicity. White is a very interesting colour. Um, it's hugely symbolic, particularly in Japanese art and history and culture. The word white is called shiro in Japanese and it's considered a sacred colour of the gods. So it's often used in kind of sacred garments of worship and it has connotations of purity and it's also linked to the spiritual world. So it's a very interesting colour. It also has connotations to the snow and in the olden days it used to be used as a colour worn for funerals and for mourning, which is no longer the case. I really love the colour white for this kimono and I just think it has such a um, ethereal, floating, um, beautiful simplicity about it. And... Speaking of transformation, which is a the theme of this week, I want to just mention the the essence of theatre, which for me is about the transformative power of theatre. And I think I found that most palpably in Kabuki, which is why I explore it, which is why I love it and research it and I want to... And I'm in the process of staging my own kabuki play, inspired play, I should say. But whether it's as a performer or as an audience member, I really believe that the highest capacity of, of theatre is its ability to completely transform the way you think and feel. Uh, when I went to Japan to see Kabuki in 2018 and saw Kabuki at the Kabuki Zao for the first time, 
I was just in awe of the lyrical movement of the dancers, the ease and grace, the the colours, the fabrics, the the whole scene and mise en scène seemed like a moving painting on stage and the music with the shamisen and the koto just took me into another realm of appreciation of art and movement and expression on stage and I've also found hugely inspiring the performances of ballet dancers in productions like Myling and Romeo and Juliet and I think that's the highest aim of theatre I really do this transformative power to be able to move someone that the coming days and weeks and months they can still cast their mind back to that moment of beauty on stage and it can never be underestimated the ability to affect people through the voice through movement through costume they are all languages and it's something that I'm very, 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 very appreciative of this week in particular, given the exploration of the word transformation. Anyway, wishing you a lovely start to the weekend. And if you have any idea what the flower was in my video, then please do comment. I'll give you a clue. It is known as the King of Flowers in Japan. Hmm. Let me know in the comments what flower you think was in the background of my video. And lastly, please do like and subscribe to my channel. Lots of love and see you again soon.